and welcome to the Intuitive Messaging Channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a tarot card reader, psychic, medium, animal communicator, or pet psychic, and I do mindfulness transformation coaching. Today I'm doing the weekly spread. So this is a channeled message from my guide team, from Source from Spirit, as well as a tarot energy forecast from February 1st to the 7th. So as I shuffle, first, the message from Spirit is kind of an interesting one. That's like, they said, do not let other people prescribe your journey, your path. And then as I, you know, it's the first thing that pops in my mind. Then as I unfold it, um, I'm seeing like you, like me, us having conversations with other people and the words coming out of their mouth we find ourselves nodding our heads with, agreeing with, and a lot of time if we really stop and think, we don't agree with what they say. It's just out of habit. And some people like me often say, oh yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. And I asked Spirit how we can remedy remedy this. And they just said, just simply ask questions like, well, oh, that's a very interesting statement. Can you elaborate on why you think that? And a lot of times by opening that can and having them elaborate, they actually will come to a different conclusion by the time that they finish you know, their thought about what they think you should do or what's going on life or what the situation is really about. So ask some questions with love, with kindness, you know, trying to see a different perspective because it's going to help you as well. But be very conscious. I think the overall, overall message is be very conscious of when you are agreeing and nodding and affirming and co-creating just simply by, you know, being there in the moment, shaking your head versus, you know, saying, I'm, I don't resonate with that. You know, it's not that it's not your truth, but it doesn't, tr it doesn't ring true with me. You know, I wonder, wonder where we can find a different truth or, or why do you say that? Again, the, back to the question, what makes you say that? Because sometimes they're just babbling. <laughs> and I think what this can do is help keep the vibration high between relationships and uh, between our planet. So, all right, let's dive in. This week, what can we expect? How can we best navigate it? What might we learn from this week? So February 1st through the 7th, what can we expect? First of all, we can expect this Aries energy and Mars, which I feel like this is, first of all, it's about making decisions and choices. There's a pathway with two doors. But with Aries and Mars, it's like, all right, Aries is like, I'm ready. I'm the baby of the zodiac signs. And Mars is like pushing you forward. It's masculine. Let's do this. Make the choice. So I feel like we're going to be pushed forward to make some choices this week. How can we best navigate this energy? By moving. Don't sit there. The wheel moves. All right. And it's also about expansion. And this could be expansion of your knowledge, expansion of you spiritually. So navigate it by expanding your ideas, your thought. And this even could go back to what we were just talking about, you know, asking those questions because it could expand your understanding. And you might actually finally say, you know what, you're right. I do agree with you that. Or together you make these choices and come to some larger understanding and agreement. Now, how will you grow? What will you learn? What might you be able to manifest? You definitely will find that a more movement forward, especially emotionally. This is Knight of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. Um, and I love that there's a little bit of Libra right up there. So there will definitely be some balancing as well as we move with that Scorpio energy. But I think you will grow emotionally. I think you will definitely move forward. I think you will better understand your emotions this week you know, by making that choice, by expanding. It also might... You almost spirit dropping this in my head. You also might feel a little bit of emotional pain because of the expansion. And sometimes, you know, when the seed, the seed has to die to itself to grow. It cracks open and then the plant grows. You know, even even uh, in an egg, it cracks open. The cocoon cracks open. So there may be a little bit of cracking open this week, which is that expansion. So it might be a little painful at first, which could be where the emotions come in. Um, but just know that. You grow, you grow. So it's a good thing. All right. So hey, we are also in Mercury retrograde starting tomorrow as a record of this, which is January 30th through February 20th. So I did do a collective Mercury retrograde spread. Check that out if you want to get your own to find out how you can best navigate this energetic time. Um, yeah, check that out. All right. Namaste. Thanks for sharing, subscribing, and reposting. Bye bye.